Do you have a fat head and need a grinder? I mean, do you need Milwaukee's flathead grinder? You can see between these two tools here, the Milwaukee standard M18 fuel grinder and the M18 fuel flathead grinder. This is the model 2886. And you can see that a little lower profile, we can get into much tighter spaces. Let's take a look at the features, then we'll use it and come back and talk about pricing and warranty. Actually, we're gonna talk about pricing a little earlier. This is the Milwaukee flathead grinder. Now, don't confuse this with what your father-in-law calls you. Uh, anyway, no, this is the model number 2886-20 because it is the bare tool and it's their flathead grinder. And what this is good for, if you don't already know, is getting into tight spots because the flathead name, you can see it protrudes quite a bit further and it's got a very low profile on the head. So it's not like your typical grinder that only gives you about probably 70 degrees of clearance. 70 to 75 degrees of clearance. This actually gives you like 42 degrees of clearance and we'll show that here in just one moment. In fact, here's your typical Milwaukee grinder. Let's get the handle off. So here's your typical Milwaukee grinder and here's the flathead. So you see quite a bit of difference there in uh, both the kind of the jut out of the grinder head itself as well as the profile of it. Now this is a five inch grinder so you can run your four and a half inch wheels as well as your five inch wheels on it and it comes with your typical uh, grinding shield or grinding disc shield uh, as well as for your cutting disc as well so you can run your type 1 and type 27 wheels on here for cutting also. Pretty cool design on actually uh, putting that guard on uh, just a push button right here, no, no tools needed, and you're going to spin this around halfway, and then it slides out, and then slide this one on, and once you get it on, slide it around, and then it's going to index in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different spots. So once you slide it around, it will automatically click into place to whatever area you need that for your cutting disc or for your grinding wheels because we know that everyone always uses a grinding guard or a guard on their grinding disc. We know that. Now in addition to being an 11 amp grinder, meaning this has got the power of an 11 amp grinder, so not the strongest in the world, not meant to be. Again, this is their flat head meant to get in tight angles. So they do have grinders, they're five inch grinders that are more powerful than this, uh, but still this should be able to get a lot of work done. This is also the paddle switch variety. So you see I've got the paddle switch there, a little dead man switch, flip that up. And then we've got the paddle switch. You can also get this in the on off switch as well up here on the top. And this has the rapid stop technology on it. So it's gonna stop that wheel, stop that grinding wheel or cutting wheel within two seconds. I think with a cutting wheel on there, it will stop it in like 1.35 seconds and with a grinding wheel on there, something like 1.7 seconds or 1.69 seconds. Get a max of 8,500 RPM, and uh, we also get a uh, toolless blade change as well. You can use the spanner if you want to, but you can easily just uh, push the spindle lock here. It's gonna lock that, sp that spindle, and you can turn the wheel and fling that off and put it back on. One thing to note that I see in many shops and uh, especially on battery powered stuff because airflow is critical in battery powered tools. It's really critical in any tools that typically get hot, especially grinders, uh, but even more so critical on something that's battery operated because what Milwaukee does and others as well is they create, they have a fan somewhere in here uh, where their brushless motor is. This is an M18 fuel tool so we know we get a brushless motor so you see the fuel designation there so we know we get the uh, power state brushless motor and what's going to happen is it's going to draw air in from right here so it's going to pull air in right here where these gills are in fact we can pull this off just kind of spread it apart and it pulls right off and so you see that stainless steel mesh and airflow comes in here 
and pulls down the body of the tool and exits up here. So it's cooling the motor, it's cooling all the electronics, and then exiting that air up here right at your wheel. Now, if you let that just get gummed up with goo or metal fragmentation, and it will, then you're gonna start cutting off airflow. So make sure that every now and then, pull this thing off, take your blower, blow it from the inside out, it'll blow everything, clear everything out, and put it back on, and that tool's gonna last you a long time. Now, I do wanna point out something, and I typically, I shouldn't say never, but very rarely do I talk about this, especially uh, at this point in the video, but I just thought it's such a great deal, you need to know about it. Right now, you can buy this tool for $299 as a bare tool. That's not a great price, per se. If you're looking for a flathead grinder, it's a great price because there's not many out there. However, right now, if you buy the tool, you get kind of a free gift as well, and you can get this 6.0 battery at zero cost. So normally $179, you can buy this tool for $299, put this tool in your cart, and it will actually, you'll see a discount at first, and then when you actually go to your cart, it'll be wiped clean. It'll be $299 for both of these. That is a smoking deal to get a 6.0 high output battery uh, with this grinder, which is a great match for this grinder, uh, delivering the power as well as runtime on it. But again, many of you don't stick around till the end, so I wanted to mention that um, because that is a great deal. I don't know how long that'll last. You could probably look up and maybe that's just Home Depot, but I don't think so. I think it's across Acme Tools or whatever. Um, I think it's something Milwaukee's running, but check that out. We'll have a link in there. Again, if you want to buy it through our link, that's fine. If you don't, fine. But again, thought that was a really smoking deal and just wanted to let you know before you, you know, took off before we're done with our review. And typically we're, we're talking about pricing at the end. So 300 bucks, battery and tool. No, you don't get a charger, assuming you may already have a Milwaukee charger, um, but great deal on that battery and the tool. So let's throw a wheel on here really quick. Wow, really quick up to speed. Like less than a second, 1001, yeah. So we're getting up to 8,500 RPM in less than a second. Pretty impressive with a battery powered uh, grinder. So we've got a grinding wheel on there, a paddle disc. You see it's a round over where you can actually get into corners really well. Uh, because the flap actually wraps over it. So that's a really cool wheel there. Anyway, and you see how quick it stops too with the rapid stop technology. 1001, yeah, so little over a second to stop that. 1001, yeah, so little over a second. And by the way, it also has your typical 5.8-11 arbor, 5.8-11 threaded arbor. Again, you want to take that off, push the spindle lock, turn that wheel, and replace your disc. Now, many times when you have an angled weld like this in structure, uh, you've got a compounding issue when it comes to grinding and cleaning up. Sorry, I got my, half my face cut off, but my point is uh, the actual solution here. So like I mentioned, we could have a compounded problem and I'll get to that in just a second, but let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we should, does that say zero? Anyway, so we should have that zeroed out. So that's at zero and so that should be at zero or close to zero and then that should give us right about 45 degrees. I don't know what you're seeing there. Um, actually, 42 degrees is what I'm seeing. Yeah, so you're seeing 41.9 degrees. Let me make sure we're zeroed out here. Well, zero, 41 degrees. So that's actually a little tighter than what we're supposed to be able to get uh, with this grinder here. I was trying to do just like a 45 degree slope, but we've got a 42 degree. So make it a little more difficult. Uh, but I think you see where we're getting at here. So when I mentioned the compounded issue, because typically even getting the welding torch in here, and I probably should have grabbed my welding torch and, and showed you, 
it's tight to get in there. And typically, especially if we're dealing with structure welding, things like that, where it's not something for beautification, uh, then a lot of times this weld will be really goobered up. Um, we'll get a lot of spatter in here as we have right here. So we've got a nasty weld to clean up and you get your typical grinder right here, even a Milwaukee grinder. And you see we're getting nowhere close to reaching that weld or reaching that spatter that we need to clean up. Even if we had a five inch wheel on here and getting another quarter inch, uh, it's not going to reach that weld, not even close. So take the flathead grinder and look at there. Even with a four and a half inch wheel, we're reaching that weld no problem. We can clean up all that spatter right there as well as get in and clean up that weld as well. So with the flathead grinder, getting in there is no problem to clean up that weld. When it comes to a specialty tool like this, it's not all about power and performance. Well, performance in the fact that it does what it should do or does what it claims to do, and it does that rather well. You can see we got in a 42 degree, less than a 42 degree angle, cleaned up a weld with no problem. Of course, it helped with this round over uh, flat disc wheel, but regardless, even with a regular grinding wheel, we were able to get the flathead all the way in there and do the grinding, clean up the spatter, round out the weld, whatever we needed to do. And a typical grinder had no chance at doing so. Uh, also, the pricing on this guy at $299 for the bare tool is kind of typical, but $299 for a 6.0 battery and the tool right now, I think you need to jump on that very quickly if you're in the need for a grinder like this. They may have other tools as well, but I just saw that on this tool, the fact that you can get that 6.0 battery. Once you get it in your cart, it's actually free. It's typically $179. Uh, again, I typically don't talk about deals like that, but thought that was a very good deal. Five-year warranty on the grinder. Also, you get the rapid stop technology that stops that wheel within two seconds after letting go of the trigger. I like the paddle switch variety, but others like obviously a on off switch and you can get it in that manner as well. Uh, check it out for yourself. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.